that I think their main aim is to do away with all regulation that's been put on. They're after the financial services bill. How in the world could you forget in this short span of time what we went through with financial services and Wall Street? But they want all that regulation gone. They're scared to death of Elizabeth Warren. They just can't bear that, that consumers would have a strong voice in, in what's happening to them. Uh, that H.R. 1 that, that they passed so handily uh, just decimated the EPA. And the mountaintop mining, which I know from Kentucky, uh, they took all regulation off of removing mountaintops and even took off the regulation that kept them from throwing that junk into the rivers and streams. Uh, it's uh, ex really quite extraordinary if you really get into what they did, but at the same time, in H.R. 1, while they took food away from babies and cut out schools, they had $5 billion subsidy for the oil companies that don't pay us royalties and don't pay taxes. And there's no way in the world you could ever believe that a $5 billion taxpayer subsidy would be due the oil companies who have us by the throat. It, to some extent, it's pretty much the same. It was about, about the same sort of idea. So reg regulation has always been a, a problem. And the idea was always if we will give enough tax breaks and for corporations and for the America's wealthy, it will trickle down on all of us. That has to be done away with. You know, the Kennedy idea was to do it the other way around and left all boats from the bottom to, uh, to try to, which I think would work considerably better. But as I see what's happening in Wisconsin and Ohio and other states for the public uh, workers, I mean, anybody in this world, that, not let alone this country, that thinks that school teachers and bus drivers and snowplow operators are responsible for this deficit is not reading anything. Are we even serious no. in this congressional session? No, no, no. Uh, but let me tell you that when we, I look back to the last session, uh, we had over 400 bills that we had passed and sent to the Senate. One of them that took out oil speculators, and if the oil speculators were out of business now, we wouldn't have these prices we've got. But the Senate just never could get around to it. With them, it was always manana. Maybe yes, maybe no. Harry can do it, Harry can't do it. Uh, it was very distressing to see all that good work we did and the things that we got done that we really wanted to do for America. I mean, it was, uh, we, we wanted to level the playing field. We wanted to get out of the war. Uh, to my, this day, if we were to leave that war, the president talks about $56 billion to put high-speed rail all over the United States, bring us up into this century, so to speak. That's seven months of the war in Afghanistan and Iraq. Seven months. Imagine that. If everybody in this country knew that what we're doing there is paying $8 billion a month, I think they'd be walking in the street.